G'day guys, Ian here, and today we're going to show you how to sort your dubia roaches and your wood roaches by size. And guys, if you are new to this channel and you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and welcome to Cookies Critters. Okay guys, so you've gone out and you bought yourself a bulk bag of mixed wood roaches or mixed dubia roaches. Now, you need to know how to sort these according to their size. Now, obviously, if you've got a little baby bearded dragon, you can't go and give them a big roach. They need a small, tiny wood roach or small dubia roach uh, according to the size of the dragon. Now, a very simple way that we can do this is we can create a little sifting tray. Now, things that you're gonna need for the sifting tray are some little tubs that do stack inside each other. a soldering iron and a large storage tub treated with fluoron to, uh, to catch all the, uh, the wood roaches when you're finally finished. Now the, uh, the, the method to actually making your little sifting tray is really simple. You get your little sifting tubs, your little storage tubs and you need to punch some holes through there. Now starting with the top layer, obviously we want to filter out the very top ones and catch the top ones and all the smaller ones will fall through the base. So this is where when our soldering iron is super hot, we just simply punch it all the way through and we can get the soldering iron to, uh, to penetrate through the plastic. Now you go through and you just punch yourself 100, 200 holes and you end up with something that looks like this. Now, the next stage is to get your second tub. Now, with your second tub, you may need to replace the tip and have a smaller or, uh, or a finer tip, so that way they haven't got the same diameter. When you go through, you punch all your holes through, and obviously with this one, you're gonna end up with more holes because you've got a smaller diameter, and you end up with, uh, with a tub that looks like this. Now, if I put them side by side, you can see that there is a, uh, a noticeable comparison uh, in the size of the holes. Now you can go one step further and you can have bigger holes for the, uh, for the very top tub or you can have smaller holes for the very bottom tub. Either or, I find that two works quite well. You will have to test and adjust the size of your, uh, uh, your soldering iron or your drill bit. Now, a quick note with using a drill, if you are using a drill, the chance of fracturing and cracking the plastic is quite high. So a, uh, a quick tip with that is, if you have a, uh, a piece of uh, timber underneath your box, when you're drilling into the timber, like through the plastic into the timber, the timber will put a bit of pressure on the plastic and it will reduce the chance of the plastic tub cracking. But guys, even still, I would recommend using a, uh, a soldering iron over a drill any day of the week. Okay, so we've gone through and we've put all our holes into our bases of our tubs. Now what we need to do is we need to go through and we need to line the, uh, the top two inches or 50 mil, five centimeters, of the tub with fluoron. Now fluoron is a, uh, an insect barrier. It, uh, it prevents them from climbing past that barrier. Obviously, when we're trying to uh, keep the bugs inside, we don't want them climbing out. We want them to fall through the holes. So grab your, uh, your two or your three tubs, treat them with fluoron. If you haven't already done so, do treat your uh, storage tub with fluoron as well. And this can double up as the actual storage container once you have separated and sifted all your, uh, your wood roaches. Okay, so the, uh, the next step is to actually put this on the ground and we're gonna show you how it all works. Okay, so simply all we need to do is we get our little uh, filtering tubs. Make sure that your tub with the larger diameter holes sits at the top. Nest it inside the large storage tub and simply put our uh, woodies inside the, uh, the filtration and the sifting device. Now, as we can see, we've already got some, uh, some wood roaches working their way out the bottom. You can give it a bit of a, uh, bit of a shift bit of a sift, bit of a flick, and this will uh, help speed it up a bit. Now as we can tell, we're only about sort of 10, 15 seconds in, and we've already got hundreds of, uh, of small wood roaches already filtered through the bottom layer. And as we can see, the consistency of the top layer is that there is uh, mainly the, uh, the large wood roaches left. 
We need to give it some time because as we move the, uh, the wood roaches through, we can still see mediums and smalls still filtered through the, uh, through the top layer there. And if I was to lift up this top tub, as you can see, there's already heaps of smalls and mediums in the tray below. Okay, so about three minutes has passed now, and uh, as we can see, the top layer is almost fully filtered through. Uh, still got a mixture of some mediums in there, but all the smalls have now dropped their way down. Now at this point, we could be happy with the, uh, the sizing. Yes, there are a few uh, mediums and a few smalls in there, but as a whole, there is the majority of the, uh, the large wood roaches left. We can simply transfer them into a separate tub. And there we have it. So we've got mainly larges and a few mediums in there as well. Now, if we wanted to be a bit more patient, give this some more time, we could let this filter through again and uh, get out the rest of those mediums. Now, as we look at this layer here, it's, uh, it looks pretty good. There's mainly just mediums left inside there. There's a few smalls, but to give it a bit of a, an assist, give it a tap, motivate these guys to wiggle their way down. And as we can see, more are dropping down as we go. Now guys, once again, you don't need to go to this effort of tapping and jiggling. You can literally just leave this tub for a couple of hours, come back and it'll all be sifted. But for the purpose of this video, we are just giving it a bit of a, a gentle nudge along. Hey guys, so, so far the, uh, the second layer has been going for another maybe three to five minutes. Uh, we're gonna call it there. We're pretty happy with the consistency of these mediums. Yes, there are a few smalls in there, but overall this is, uh, this is fine for what we need. Now, what we need to do is have a second tub available to, uh, to sort them for now. Now at this time, we're just gonna use this tub to store our mediums. Okay guys, so now the, uh, the mediums are now sifted and sorted. And as we can see, we've got a fairly uniform medium wood roach. Now that's all the mediums and what we have left are the smalls. Now these guys are fairly tiny. They are suitable for young hatchling bearded dragons. And uh, this is what we'll be using for our brand new babies. So guys, that's how easy it is to sort and sift your dubia and your wood roaches. Guys, if you found this video easy enough to follow along, please do hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications, that way you won't miss a coming video. Now guys, please, if you do have any recommendations for future content, please let us know by dropping it down in the comments section below. We would love to hear your feedback. And until next time guys, if you've got them, keep your beard treated and your beardies heated.